All right, welcome back. As you can see, it's time for school. And before we begin this video, I just want to give you a general overview of what I'm going to do in this video. Basically, I'm just going to do the math work, just try to teach you how the current works, how the voltage work, how Ohm's law work, and why I needed the amp meter. And if you already know about this, you can pretty much just watch another video or do something else because, like I said in the last video, we're basically done with the solar panel system itself. So I'm going to try to do the best I can here as I don't have a degree in teaching but if you do uh, become lost at one point or if I'm going too fast you can always just skip back and re-look at it. So I try to keep it simple and basic. I won't go into too many details just try to keep the video somewhat short. So let's just go ahead and get started. Alright so the first thing I want to go into is current and voltage. As most people usually get those confused or have no idea how those two work. So I'm just going to give a basic definition that I got offline on the 12volt.com and basically current is what flows on a wire or conductor like water flowing down a river and current flows from the negative to positive on the surface of a conductor. Current is measured in amp years or amps. Voltage is the difference in electrical potential between two points in a circuit. It's the push or the pressure behind current flow through a circuit and it's measured in volts. And as you can see here, I have it as volts. These are the two symbols you can write it as. So just to give a, a, a better example, because I know that can seem still somewhat confusing about what, what exactly these two do or how they uh, relate to each other. Well, just to give an example here, let's just say we have a regular garden hose that you can buy from any home improvement store. And we just have it extended. Let's just say uh, somebody's watering their plants or something like that. And here it's just going to be hooked up to the hydrant. So this, this uh, hose here, I'm just going to let this be the wire. Let's just say that's the, um, the 22 gauge wire that I used in my solar panel. And then I'm just going to draw a hydrant here. And of course the hydrant is against the house here. Just so you can visualize this a, a little better. And this hydrogen is going to act as the voltage, and I'll tell you why in a second. And outside the hose, of course, we have water. Alright, so, and the water is going to act as our current as well. Okay, so now think about it. The way the a hydrant works, everybody knows that if you turn this hydrant on, water will start to come out of here. Water will start to flow out of the hose. And if you turn the hydrant off, no water will flow through the hose. So basically we can apply that same concept to voltage and current. The more we turn this hydrant up, the more current is going to flow throughout this wire. Voltage is just acting as the pressure. That's basically all you need to remember is voltage is acting as this pressure, something that's pushing something. And the more voltage that we have or the more pressure we have, the more current that's going to flow through this wire. And current, as I said, all this, let's just think of it as a current. It's basically just flowing. So just to give it a, another example with voltage and current, let's just say we have a clear bowl here. A clear bowl with some water in it. Alright, so when a bowl is stationary like that, nothing's happening. As we don't have a pot potential difference in where gravity isn't having an effect, it's just sitting there. But let's say we had some type of tube and this is going to act as our voltage but let's say we, we leaned it up against something and the bowl was now tilted at an angle so now we have our water and of course now the water is starting to pour out of the bowl basically what we did here to create this is we applied a potential difference of energy and that's the same concept with voltage. Uh, when we apply this potential difference, it's allowing the, uh, the current to actually flow. But if it's no voltage here, the, the water would just stay here, meaning the current would just stay here as well. So usually what we use in electric systems to create this potential difference is a battery of some sort to create our voltage to get the current to start flowing as well. So that's basically how current and voltage works together. Without the voltage, of course, the, we're not going to have any current, and and just flip that around, we're not going to have any uh, voltage if we don't have current. So that's just one way of thinking about it. it. Helps me to remember how 
both of them relate to each other. So now that we have this, these two concepts down, let's go to the solar panel that I actually built and just try to give you an idea of how the current and everything is flowing throughout the solar cells. As I know a, a couple of people were confused about this, so I'm just going to draw a couple of solar cells. So, of course, let's just rest that a little bit. We had our tap wire that was going down through here. And I'm not going to connect the bus wire at this point this one, because I want to show you what's happening here. Let's say our positive end, our starting end, was down here by this bus wire. So the red is just re representing that bus wire down here, and that's just going to represent our positive end. And up here, we have our negative bus wire. I'm just gonna write a negative up here. So that's the end of the circuit, and this is the starter circuit. Now, as you can see, it's not connected, so there's no way this is gonna even get to the negative side that we wanted to. Right now, looking at these strings here, the positive is starting here, and the negative is starting here. And I'll go in a minute how this is hooked up in series. And the same goes for this as well. Say this is our positive, that's our positive. And on the other side, again, we have our negative. Let's put negative wires there. So, if we just cut off this portion right here, as you can see, we just have one string, and this, the current is just flowing through this one string. But if we wanted to flow through, let's say just the second string, not the third string, let's just connect it, what we would do is, I just write this in green, this green is going to represent our connections. What we would do is start from this positive and we'll link it here. And actually, I should have wrote this the other way around and had our positive up here if we're trying to go in series. And write this as our negative down here. Alright, so when we put this bus wire down here, as I know some of you was confused why I had a bus wire connecting it to this string here. Basically, our current is now flowing up this first string here. Then it's going from our negative to this positive end of the, our second string. And it's coming all the way back down this string of solar cells. And it's stopping here. And I just put a negative. This represents a negative. All right, so as you can see now, it's going from positive, negative, positive to negative. And that's what you want to do when you're trying to go in series. You're going from positive to negative, positive to negative, and positive, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So now if we wanted to connect it to the third string, we would just connect it with the longer bus wire that's going to connect these two. So now our current is now flowing from this end all the way to this uh, first string to the second string and now it's coming over here to the third string and the current is going all the way back up here to the negative. And see this negative, remember I had a 22 gauge wire uh, that actually came from here all the way back down to our starting point. So you can see this is going from positive to negative to positive to negative to positive to negative and come back around starting it over again so basically this is just one loop going around and around and around and around hey guys to speed up the process of me getting the rest of the videos out just subscribe to this video as it does show me you guys are interested and i try to speed up the process of getting the rest of the videos out as i do have to edit these and i do try to make them interesting so again just subscribe to the video and i try my best to get them out a little quicker for you guys